Well, just a few minutes ago, we showed you a local family's unique approach to distance learning by driving across the country. The Burks family joining us live this morning from Fort Myers, Florida. Oh, parents, I totally get you and, and you just improvise and you came up with an idea. You said, you know what, it is what it is. And this is what we're going to do. Tell us how you got this idea about this distance learning road trip. Yeah, it was, you know, obviously we're in San Diego and we're about two and a half, three months into COVID and the pandemic. And, you know, we were just feeling a little stir crazy. We were feeling trapped in our house and we just decided that, you know, we wanted to create a new story and a new set of experiences for our family rather than being trapped in front of the screen and, and you know, having the kids just stuck on a screen all day learning. And we thought, let's take this opportunity and let's drive across the country. Let's show them the national parks. Let's just, you know, let's take that time to learn. And uh, we ended up here in Southwest Florida for a few months, which was perfect because this is where both of our parents are at and the kids get to see their grandparents for the holidays. And then uh, in a perfect world, we'll make our way back to the, uh, San Diego for the school year and we'll see the uh, northern parks, you know, on the northern route. I, way back. I have seen so many families on social media, you know, pack up their kids and really go to places that they've would have never seen before if it wasn't for uh, the pandemic. I see your two two little kids right now. Hi, kiddos. Can you see me? Hi. Did you guys have fun? Was this a cool, like, are your parents cool for doing this? Yeah. Yeah, you got to see a lot of stuff? Yeah. Uh, how, did the, how did the kids learn? When you were watching them, I got to imagine, I have four kids of my own, and sometimes when I watch them see things for the first time and their eyes opening up, what was that like for you? That was really amazing. One of um, Crosby's favorite things was the Carlsbad Caverns in New Mexico. And, you know, he's always been very interested in caves to begin with. So to see him look around being inside this enormous cave and learning um, how they're formed, it, it was amazing. It was learning in real life. How did you manage to do this? I'm sure there are parents who are watching right now who had to work during this time and they've been juggling and it's been so stressful having the kids at home and homeschooling them. Your jobs allowed you to be able to just pack up and say, you kids, we're getting in the car, we're driving, we're driving across the United States. It did. It's actually what I do for a living is I teach people how to create, you know, lifestyle design is what I call it, but where they create businesses that provide, you know, the income that they want to support the life that they want to live versus you know, traditionally the way we're taught is to go get a job and then we live life with whatever hours were left over. So I've been doing it for 20 years and it was just this opportunity where we said, you know, let's go show the kids parks and show them things that, you know, some of which we'd never even seen in, in our forties. And so it just seemed like the perfect opportunity. And, you know, I, I've been working at home, like I said, for 20 years. And so it's just, I've gotten used to being able to work under distractions and, and use laser focus and, and a lot of times to get work done. And then, um, it, so it's just worked out perfect. It was, you know, although the pandemic has been stressful, I think in a lot of ways for our family, it was just a perfect storm of, you know, blessings that came together, so. It's all how you look at it. And I think there are a lot of people that if you look at it that way, that the time that we are spending as stressful as it is, I told you I have four kids and I have a question about how you manage this in the car in a, in a minute, but we did get to spend time that we probably would not have because we were all going 100 miles an hour um, you know, with our kids and we got to cuddle more and we got to talk more and see these things more. Okay, we know on social media, these pictures of trips, they're just like, ah, geez, everybody looks like they're having a good time. But I gotta imagine being in a car with children, <laughs> What? be honest, how, how was it? Was there fighting? I remember when my parents, we drove one time from Florida to California and my parents still tell us it was one of the worst trips of their life because all we did was fight. Is that what those two boys did? Be honest. Well, as you can see from even from this photo, the mess behind them in the car, it was a little chaotic for sure. And they had their moments um, fighting with each other. But, you know, we just tried to take those moments to say, OK, everybody, stop talking, look out the window, where are we, what are we seeing that's different from what we have back home in California, the new environments, the new, you know, trees, talking about, you know, just getting them to experience what was happening 
right now outside the window um, kind of helped us reset a little bit. But we had our moments where we were like, everybody just put on a headset and be quiet. <laughs> I appreciate the honesty. I really do. And I'm inspired. I think there's people, parents who are watching right now if we didn't have to work, I mean, this would have been magical for all of us to do, but there are, I think the lesson to take that there are moments that you can do that even like right here in San Diego is maybe just take the day and, and let the stress be and, and go do something that you maybe wouldn't have done. It's true. One of my very first mentors who uh, is a well-known resident in San Diego, but he taught me 20 years ago that it was important, even if you could only take a staycation, he called it, where you could just take some time in San Diego, even if it was just a day trip, just mm -hmm. it was the importance of taking that moment to be present, enjoy, and, and appreciate all the blessings around us. Okay, your boys, their names are, again? Crosby. Crosby. And Grayson. Yep, and okay. Grayson. And Grayson. Okay, Crosby, what was your favorite memory of your trip? The uh, best part. Probably Panama, because I learned to swim there. Oh. Panama City, oh. Florida. You learned how to swim? Yeah. Yeah, you had a good time on this trip, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you sure did. Grayson, what was your favorite part? Uh, my favorite part of the road trip was probably Austin, Texas. Uh, it was really fun because we went like kayaking on the lake and there's early yummy breakfast taco shop that we ate at. <laughs> that is awesome. I'm glad you guys saw that. And uh, just know you have some pretty fantastic, cool parents. Do you know that? <laughs> Do you know yeah. that? Remember that, okay? Even when you become teenagers and you think yeah. otherwise, remember how cool they are that they did this for you. We appreciated the Burks family joining us uh, live from Florida. When are you coming back to San Diego? We're hoping to be back for school year next year. So assuming all things open up and the kids can get back to school safely and all of that and sports, and we'll be back for that time. Looking forward to it. We appreciate you sharing our story. I'm inspired. Maybe I'll just go take a walk today. I don't think I can do a road trip yes. with four kids. Thanks, guys. <laughs>